if you're anything like me, you have a bunch of half filled notebooks just all over the place. You started some one year, maybe one year you were really into journaling and the next you started some notebooks and now you're like, when did I even stop those? To me though, the beauty of having half filled notebooks is there's half of the notebooks still available to fill. And today I wanna to share some ideas on how to fill them. Basically talking about how I fill my notebooks, but you know, hopefully it will spark some ideas and help you get journaling, creating, writing, making art, doing whatever you wanna do in your notebooks. And honestly, that's just so exciting. Welcome to the video, my name is Bria and I am really excited to talk to you about notebooks because the beauty of notebooks to me is really about getting things out of my head and onto the page, whether that's like ideas or thoughts that I'll like develop further or just getting thoughts and like just dumping it out and freeing up my brain to do other things. And I actually have a large number of notebooks. And I also have, I would say, I also have a lot like a, just a, a new process. There's been many years that I've journaled consistently and now journaling doesn't look like one thing to me. So one of my favorite YouTubers, um, Comfy Cozy Up, introduced me to more like creative journaling, which is some of the things I do now. But also there's um, digital journaling and stuff like that. Like I know there's people who make those type of videos, but I'm definitely more of an analog type of person. But yes, yeah, so without, Without more chit chat, let's get started with the the video and the ideas that I have. So the first type of notebook is actually the one I would suggest for how to get back into journaling, consist journaling or using notebooks just in general consistently because that's what I did. And that is having a catch all notebook. So this notebook is for like everything. So I, this, was a, this notebook was a gift. It was the Isolation Journals by Suleika Jawad and I actually bought a second one. I just finished this notebook. I started in December, like when I got it, and then finished it like it's the end of June. So I just finished it like two days ago. I love this notebook so much because this was the notebook that got me back into like getting all my ideas out and just getting them out of my head. June, 20, June 26th, I finished this and I would say consistently since about March, I used this for art journaling, a little bit of brain dumping. I was working through ideas on the page and oh, I love this journal so much. And that's the tip I would give because through using this notebook, and I, I love decorating my notebooks, they get me really excited, but my best decorated notebook is coming later. But the best thing about this notebook was of course making me, forcing me to be consistent because everything would go in this one place. So I got back into the habit of using a notebook because I, I used to be hesitant to use the same notebook for one thing, but it was a game changer in terms of being consistent. And then the second thing was it helped me realize what I would need other notebooks for. And I've since branched out because this, this notebook was $25 and I do have a second one, but I don't want to go through it as quickly. <laughs> this paper is so nice too. Like I have, I've used gouache. I used markers. I'm trying to show you a page that because this was also my art journal. So I have this page, but you you don't see any of this watercolor seeping through. Like this was a game changer of a notebook. And that's why I'm gonna use it fully as an art journal, creative, you know, processing, visual processing journal for the, the second edition that I have of this. But it also helped me so just re-tap into my creativity as well. So I love this notebook and it kind of led into using all of my other notebooks differently. All of them except one really. But yeah, so definitely a catch-all journal and it can be any type. I realized there's certain types of journal I wanna use certain things for and certain type of paper I'm willing to pay more for. Um, and yeah, we'll talk more about that later. I also use this for just like Yes, creative expression, but also for random journaling, brain dumping, rage writing. And one of the trends that I noticed was, well, one, when I realized I don't wanna go through pages this quickly in this notebook was, oh my goodness, I miss doing 
morning pages. At the time, I thought I was going to do morning pages again because in 2018, I read Julia Cameron's The Artist's Way. So I didn't read it. I read like the first chapter and I still haven't finished that. But I started doing morning pages and I was really consistent like 2018 not really 20 I, I was consistent ish there were times where I journaled a lot and times where I didn't but I was like oh that was actually super beneficial to me so I picked up actually one of the journals from 2018 2019 that I was using and now I'm doing morning pages slash word I would say it's more brain dumping and I wanted to use one, I just wanted to reuse some of the notebooks that I didn't finish. I'll be completely honest. Because this is from, at the end of 2018, I did a writing ch uh, journal challenge, a seven-day journal challenge. And then um, there's a couple from early 2019. And then I started back up consistently throughout the month of June. I've been brain dumping in this. Mostly in the morning. I find, like, it's easier to just, like, really just throw everything out there. But I noticed whenever I had a lot of, just a lot of thoughts going at night, when I brain dumped at night, it really, like I had a real clear hit in the morning and I'm like, I'm gonna keep doing this. This is so beneficial. And I don't have like a limit on how much I write. I chose to go to this, go, well I guess go back to this composition notebook because I've had it for a while because I wanted to actually fill the notebook and it didn't really matter to me like what else is in the notebook, even though it was some journaling, some like I had a to-do list, I had a goal list for 2019 and I, I had a bunch of different stuff in here before I really settled on reclaiming this book for brain dumping. But that's just like another, you know, reminder that you can just go and pick up any book that's lying around. But also this is the composition of book, notebooks that range between 50 cents and a dollar and you can just start there with your brain dumping and whatever. And I really notice if I'm using a gel pen I really like, and it, it's like a lot of ink is coming out like I like, I can just write, 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 write. And that's really what the goal is for me is to like actually use my notebooks. And that's why I am giving you ideas um, for these, like just how to fill them. But just also think about like, what's gonna actually make you use your notebook and pick up your notebook? Because something I learned for a notebook we were gonna talk about later is like when I have like a really pretty notebook, it just it makes me so excited to like pick it up and use it. So, and I would say pretty as in like I'm decorating it, but it just depends on like what the decoration is, what the notebook is, why you're trying to use it. But like this one doesn't have to be beautiful, but it needs, because I love the way that the paper feels when I've written on it, it just really gets me just like I feel good and it makes me want to continue to do it again and again the next day. In addition to feeling really great now that I've got these thoughts out of my head, it keeps getting the thoughts out of my head, keep me from like overthinking things. It helps me figure out how I actually feel about certain things. It forces me to like clear my brain I have a million and one thoughts all the time and a lot of times they will block me from doing what I want to do but I don't know why it's blocking me and then when I write it down I'm free of that thought that situation that thing that made me want to rage so I love my brain dump notebook and I'm going to consistently use the composition notebooks but I've noticed and I mentioned the art journal the Selecta Jawad art journal I do not like to do art in this kind of notebook a lot of people actually do and if you like search, if you want like ideas for that, but that's another thing. How, what kind of like, there's something about the texture is positive with words, but not with like paint for me at least. So that is a real factor or a limitation sometimes with notebooks and just with anything. So just definitely keep that in mind. Um, and then let's look. Notebook number three. Oh, my pocket notebook. This one would, I left this at home today and I was so mad because I always bring it with me. I've had a pocket notebook. I bought this pocket notebook in 2017. I haven't fully finished it yet, but I'm using it again. And I also have this pocket notebook. I have like a set from Walmart. Um, this is actually Moleskin and this is from Walmart. And I actually have a Walmart one that's this size now that I'm gonna use after I finish my little small Walmart packs, but I prefer this size. But it doesn't even matter because I couldn't find this for a long time and now I found it. But I love pocket notebooks, but now I'm using them to write down all those million and one thoughts that I told you that I have. 
Um, and it's been really great actually. Today I was so annoyed that I didn't bring it with me because we were walk. We did an hour walk, and I mean I talk a lot, but there was like a good thirty minutes where I was trying to think through something, and. I didn't have my pocket notebook. I had to use my phone, which I don't like because I'm going to get distracted. And I started using pocket notebooks, actually. I think I was watching a park notes video. But I know I started using this pocket notebook in April. And I just remember the day because it was a Hoosier concert. And I was just writing down all my thoughts. And I found this to be great. Writing down my thoughts also came down to me writing down my ideas, writing down my observations, writing down so much to where one, I'm not playing on my phone and I'm just like, some of these thoughts like may be fleeting, I may not use them again, but also it prevents me from playing on my phone. Some of these ideas are gems. And also I was able to dock my entire doc. <laughs> I documented my entire Panama trip in this. So as long as I don't lose this, I haven't transferred the notes into like somewhere else. But like that's really important because for, Cuba, I documented everything when I went on my phone, but I cannot, I only can find one day of notes. Like we went three days. I'm like, where are my notes? Like I genuinely cannot find it. But for, and it's like, I don't know if it's like, cause you know, if you open it, then now it's kind of like, it, it says it's been updated. So the dates aren't the same. So yeah, I love this pocket notebook and it's so helpful. So I would say I haven't used this since like early June. So from April to early June, I filled this part and I was really going fast until um, like the last cu couple weeks, but I just started bringing it with me again. And I also started using this one or just filling this one as well from 2017. This, these notebooks help me like have ideas and have thoughts and it forces me from like hearing everyone else's thoughts all the time. Like I hear everyone and cause it's hard for me to filter, you know, all the stuff I hear all the time. And it also helps me document things that I know I'm gonna forget. I like, I like I'll go through, I, I went through recently some of my journals from like 2015, 2017, 2018. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I forgot about all of this. So that's another reason I like pocket notebooks because there's so many fleeting thoughts I have and fleeting observations that I think are so cool. And to go back to see them, it's just, I don't know, I love it. I love it. And it also keeps me off my phone which keeps my brain clear because all the information is not good for me. Oh, okay. The next one I have is a notebook that has taken many forms because when I finished my 2020 journal, I thought about using this as, well, I mean the first little couple pages of this journal, and this is the back, the first couple pages of this journal was like my journal, you know, I was trying to journal, but like these pages, are so, I wish I, I mean, you can see how I, these, I'll, I'm not gonna show you, <laughs> but these pages are huge and that's like a lot to try to fill up. And for some reason, it feels, even though these are the same like size, it feels like way more to try to fill up a page. And it may be because I wasn't necessarily brain dumping and I was focusing more on like documenting, which is not my type of style of journaling at all. I'm more like, I don't know. I don't feel like my life is that interesting. So like, I don't necessarily think I'm going to tell you everything that happened today unless it was something that was really interesting. And then, but that's what I use this book for now, which is scrapbooking. And I, I know some people call it junk journal, but I really think I call this scrapbooking. Like I keep the... Like this is a spread from something we did in December in Germany. This was like a, an exhibit. And I like that I can make it like arts. I was inspired by this artist called Gianna Dedier and she does collages. So I made a collage. Um, I have some like ephemera from events like in or different like receipts. And here's a good one that I can show you that's not too much. So I have like this is like all from, well, this is from Panama, but, and I just kept this, this ginger thing. Uh, it's like a cookie thing. But then I have like this ephemera from events, like just different, instead of throwing them away, those little cards and, you know, just all kind of good stuff. So I consider this like more of a scrapbook now. And I have like stuff from Tokyo and just like, I have, this is just my scrapbook. And I love that 
this book has taken on so many forms. Like I started printing pictures. I have like um, different little pieces of type of like, I mean, some people call it junk journal, but like different types of, I guess ephemera is all I can think of. Like I repurpose things to put in here and I'm almost done, which I'm really kind of sad about because I love this notebook. But I have, I would say, no, I'm kind of, I have a lot, a good way to go. And I still have this page, but this is definitely a scrapbook to me. And I tried to find the same notebook and I saw an equivalent that was like a hard back and not paper, not paperback, but like flimsy. And it was like $40. So I got just got a $12 one and it just lays flat. So we'll see how I like this one. Yeah, so I love scrapbook. And then let me show you all my, all my ephemera because this, someone talking about how they journal inspired me to start doing that. So maybe it'll inspire you too. But <laughs> here's all my ephemera and some of this, these two in particular, And this bag as well are like the, the, those are like the main sets of ephemera I'm working with, you know, like different things from my trips, different things from like when I was in a certain place. So they're not, it's not necessarily a travel journal, journal to me, but you can also consider it that as well. But it's still, there's also events like with my family and stuff like that that I put in here as well but yeah scrapbooking is like my new favorite thing and that's another reason why having pocket notebooks is so awesome to me because I'm writing down the things that happen and the things that occur that I don't necessarily want to put in like my thoughts journal but it helps me feel this because I'm like, oh, that was so great. I took pictures of this. Let me print them and put them in here because they may be fleeting thoughts, but oh, that's actually a good idea. Like Panama, when I finally, cause I haven't documented anything from Panama yet. It might not even end up in this book. It might end up in the new one. But when I do that, I'll kind of organize it based on what's in here. So the, the notebooks also can work together as well, which I think is really cool. But to me, that's why having a pocket notebook is so good because it's just, I just love this. But yeah, I have loved having a pocket notebook for the sake of documenting things that may seem not important, but are gonna be beneficial in the long run. And then also because I don't like to do like daily log journaling in like a specific notebook, it's also helpful to go well with my scrapbooking and also process ideas on the go because I'm not bringing this notebook everywhere. So, oh, this is so fun. I'm hoping you're getting ideas because that's really all I want. Sketchbook. Sketchbook is important because it's also inspired by notebook number one, but also it's really important because I wanted to learn how to draw for a long time and it's forcing me to draw. So I started this one in May and I made a lot of progress. This is my favorite one. This is supposed to be a self-portrait. I think I really like self-portrait. This is in the airport. It was like a comic of this woman, the, like, you know, the, the gay agents, they clearly like, they want you to leave them alone. <laughs> and so I just drew that. And then this is another self-portrait. Um, and then now I've just been focusing on drawing. And you know, some pictures come out better than others, but it's the, the process of drawing I found has been really fun because I don't know what I'm doing. So I started this book. I haven't gotten far since we've been back home because I haven't really sketched honestly much since we were in, like on our road trip. Actually, I, I'm kidding. I actually drew something yesterday. Um, no, no, this was Thursday. So I drew this on Thursday, but my five, like this five minute sketching, I'm trying to get through it, but I have to get back on track with my new routine now that I'm back home. But I, like this is, this notebook number, I think this is notebook number four or number five. So notebook number five is, you know, a sketchbook or it could just be any skill you want to learn and just having it in one place and just doing it there. Whether it's a place you want to learn, like, you know, maybe you want to learn like the 
this is a really weird example, but the theory of sketching or the theory of art, like you can put all of your notes in one place or you can practice something in one notebook. But the sketchbook is really cool because being in this notebook and drawing, I drew, <laughs> really, I'll be honest with you, what sparked this, I wish I can cover, I might have to cover up one of these pages. Not to be secretive, but so drawing this, this is the first like sketch I did like this year really and this is like based on my grandma's photo and I was like wait I forgot that I wanted to learn how to do this so so I just pulled that out into this sketchbook and since May I've been consistently you know using it and I love it I love it so the most recent one was two days ago but I'm also and I actually really like this one actually but also a bunch of random stuff <laughs> So I, yeah, any, any small like skill you want to learn or like thing you want to learn about, I think having a notebook dedicated to that is also beneficial. And another reason I am glad I started with, I keep calling it notebook one is because it helped me experience filling a notebook fast and realizing that I don't like that because I used to feel so self-conscious because I had so many half filled notebooks and there's actually a specific reason Somebody actually tried to make me feel bad about that as well. But feeling, realizing that I don't like to fill it fast makes me feel better about having as many notebooks because I'm not worried about filling it up fast. I'm worrying about like the benefits I get from the notebook. Oh yeah, perfect example. So this notebook is a notebook my mom gave, got me as a gift in 2018 and now I'm reusing it. I started, it started off as a notebook. I had my goals, I was journaling, I wrote a poem in here. I had reflections. I was outlining a book chapter or chapters of a book. Um, yeah, goals. This felt like a goals book for sure. And I had a habit tracker, which I didn't really do. Um, and now this is my, I'm trying to think about whether goals will be in here or not. But like, this is where I outlined today's video. And this is where um, I did write out like some actually some goal I wouldn't say they're called their goals but just like I'm working on a project and help me like outline the project because I was like this is definitely not this is like not a book where I would write long form in terms of like working through a creative idea but this is definitely a book where I'm kind of like taking jotting quick notes to like feel organized like that's kind of the um this this book vibe to me so that's why I you know, I was trying to rethink about how I'm like, how do I want to use this over the next couple days? And I'm really sticking with right now. I wrote down this list of like, I'm working on this project where I'm sending people postcards. Who am I, how many postcards do I have? And like, who am I going to send them to? Working on this video. What are the outline of what I want to add in it? Because of my different notebooks, this really felt like the best use of those and then I can also what I really like about this is you can replace them they have like um like Walmart has a a lot of like stationery and using their little thin stationery like the inserts is like so affordable so we'll see like when I pick up this notebook I feel the need to be organized and stuff so that's why I'm kind of that's what I'm playing around but for the most part I know I'm gonna keep outlining videos in it I really liked I like that um, and then, oh, and then the last notebook is a notebook that I just started using. And this is a notebook that I, it's small, but I have, in all of my half-filled notebooks, there are book, books that I either started writing or I started, like, outlining. Like, that's in, like, all, all kind of notebooks because I was really heavy on that in... 2016 to 2019 2020 20 yeah but now that I'm kind of like a little more focused and aware of like the types of things I want to do and the books I want to write and stuff like that I'm also more aware of my organization I have all that kind of work in this, this notebook which is I don't know how to say what size it is it's bigger than a pocket notebook maybe it's it's not quite A5. I don't know. I don't know what size it is, but it's small. I like it. And this is where I kind of outline the tasks, the like, what are my story ideas? 
and like just kind of working through like writing pro like create well I'll say fiction fiction writing because fiction writing is so separate from like nonfiction and history stuff that I'm working on even though there's overlap in terms of like historical fiction but it's so separate that like working through the task and ideas and what I'm going to do next is here and then when it comes to actually like writing and you know writing scenes and stuff like that for now I'm using this notebook which I started writing a book in Every now and then, every now and then I think about going back to that book, but I started writing this book. I want to say I started writing this in 2019 and then I continued writing in 2021 and in 2023. And this is like the most recent version of that, but this is when I was like, I'm writing the scenes. It's, you know, I like to write longhand, I guess it's called when I'm writing like fiction or create yet yeah, fiction, I like to write longhand. It also helps me when I'm doing like my history or nonfiction writing to write longhand first as well. But that's what just, I use this notebook for as well. Cause writing the actual scenes versus working through like outline or working through like characters or working through like, what are you trying to do? Like that kind of work is in a separate notebook, but the reason I picked this notebook is because, well, one, the paper, but I also like the process of it and opening it and I like the size of it to, to, to not feel intimidated by it, essentially. So that's kind of like how I do like fiction writing, but in terms of like work writing, I have a, a notebook where I kind of have all my work notes and then I have, I, I outline and I like have thorough outline on my like work stories that I'm working on, like for my like internship slash job. So I have a specific notebook for that just so I can contain everything, but I'm also not using so many notebooks at a time, even though it probably seems like I'm using a lot. Um, but this, when I did earlier this year, one of my videos that's still up is a video where I did a writing challenge and I wrote that in here. So it's, it's. I think once you start using the notebook consistently, it starts to feel like this type of notebook is for this. Or it could be just me, because I'm like the type of person, like this type of coffee mug is for the type of day I'm having. Like if I pick up one, I'm like, that's not the vibe today, I'll, I'll put it back and get the one that's the vibe today. So it could just be me. But overall, I really think having that original, that one notebook to start and then branching out after that, is gonna be really helpful. And then remembering that you can repurpose notebooks that you didn't finish, that's totally fine. And also know that like you can start a notebook and be like, actually, I don't wanna do this anymore. And it's fine, it's fine. I think not judging yourself is such an important part of using your creativity consistently. And once you get there, I feel like it's like the world is yours, okay? And that's where I want all of us to get. So I'm just overall, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have like, at least are going to start with one notebook. You know, maybe you decided, actually, I don't want all these notebooks. I want to do digital journaling. Like, I don't know. I just hope there's a space for you to use your creativity and start. And yeah, I just want that for you. And if you want some more inspiration for like how to use your creativity, how to get back into using creativity, because I think it's beneficial whether you plan to share that creativity and share your ideas or share your thoughts with other people. It's so beneficial to just use your creativity, whether it's journaling, processing your thoughts, or making your own art and whatnot. But that is, you know, all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and leave a notebook emoji if you made it to this far in the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.